Well, a tornado watch still in effect for at 1 a.m. or until 1 a.m. for much of central as well as west central and northwest and north central Arkansas. Really, it's going to be northwest Arkansas over the next couple of hours that's going to be most at risk for severe weather. Not so much for central Arkansas. Not to say the severe threat is zero for the rest of the night across central Arkansas, but right now just not seeing a lot of additional storm development. Tornado watch means that conditions are favorable for storms to develop that could produce a tornado, but of course, you actually need some storms to be able to do so, and right now we just don't have that across central Arkansas. Now, tomorrow we have an additional round of showers and thunderstorms that's going to come on through during the afternoon and evening hours. The severe threat is going to be a little bit lower, but there's going to be more widespread showers and thunderstorms. There is a slight risk is indicated by the Storm Prediction Center for much of central and southern Arkansas with an enhanced risk mainly north of I-40. That means a slightly better chance of some stronger showers and thunderstorms. The main risks are going to be some gusty winds. Wouldn't rule out an isolated tornado threat, but I'm thinking gusty winds will be the main concern for tomorrow. Right now across the state, we really don't have that much going on in Arkansas right now. We have one thunderstorm in Izzard County, and even though it's a small storm, it's actually quite a vigorous storm heading towards the Mel area in central Izzard County. There is some rotation associated with it, but it's not strong enough to really give us an indication of a tornado. But any storm like this, especially in this environment, needs to be watched as it moves through uh, Izzard County, through Melbourne, and over towards Horseshoe Bend. Now across northwest Arkansas, here comes a strong line of thunderstorms, several severe thunderstorm warnings, and even a couple of tornado warnings. One of them is just to the east of the Tulsa area, and another one just to the west of Tulsa. Both of these storms have the potential to produce a tornado, and this line of storms is going to get into northwest Arkansas, likely within the next couple of hours. And then we're looking at a broken line of thunderstorms across parts of Oklahoma and back into Texas with some powerful storms. Now, all of this is an association with a very strong upper air disturbance moving out of the Plain States and an unusually strong front for this time of year right along the, almost right along the Oklahoma-Kansas border. We have temperatures quite warm on the south side of it to feed those the severe storms in the 80s, but much cooler on the north side of the front, only in the 40s across much of Kansas. And on top of that, you have a strong jet stream that's creating a lot of shear, changing wind speed and changing wind direction with height in the atmosphere. And when you get that, that causes those storms as they go up into the atmosphere to start to rotate. So that's the, why we've had some pretty severe weather across the plains. They say numerous reports of tornadoes across parts of Oklahoma as well as North Texas. Temperatures right now across the state still pretty warm and actually a little bit muggy out there. 80 right now in Hot Springs, upper 70s to near 80 south right now in the Little Rock area. Crane current conditions camera showing mostly clear skies. 78 degrees. Feels like 80 with a little bit of mugginess in the air. So take a look at our forecast map. Notice that first line of showers and thunderstorms moving into northwest Arkansas tonight stays mainly across parts of northern Arkansas into southern Missouri. That's where the severe threat's going to be over the next few hours for the most part. Not seeing a lot of redevelopment across central Arkansas and the southern half of that tornado watch area. But as we go into tomorrow, notice another line of showers and thunderstorms take shape across parts of Oklahoma and Texas, so mainly dry for the morning hours. But as we get to, towards the afternoon, here comes this next line of showers and thunderstorms, likely during the late afternoon into the early evening hours. Say around dinner time, I'm thinking is really going to be about the best chance of getting those showers and thunderstorms through central Arkansas. Then moving into eastern Arkansas as we get towards later on at night. Our cold front doesn't really make it through, so temperatures don't cool down any as we go into the middle of the week. Actually, we start to heat back up as we get more sun. Sunshine. So take a look at tomorrow, mostly cloudy, breezy, and mild to start off the day near 70. Warming up into the 80s before that line of showers and thunderstorms arrives during the afternoon. Very breezy as well. We're talking some wind gusts 30, 35 miles per hour during the afternoon. The showers and thunderstorms come on through, and those temperatures drop back down into the 60s behind that line of showers and thunderstorms. Still wouldn't rule out a shower as we go into Wednesday morning. Then we clear out a bit. High temperatures in the upper 80s. And look at this as we go through the rest of the week. Rain chance is pretty low, and we're talking about some pretty hot temperatures. Starting to feel just a tad summer-like mm. with those high temperatures consistently pretty close to 90 degrees, and that humidity starts to creep up as well. But at least as we get towards the middle and latter part of this week, we're not going to be dealing with any more severe weather threats. It's been a really active last few days with the storms that we had around on Saturday, some storms around today, and likely some storms again tomorrow.